Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Optifine for Fabric 1.20.4. Now, if you already have Fabric, you could go ahead and skip the first minute or so because the first minute of this video is going to be just me downloading Fabric for those of you that don't have Fabric. In order to download Fabric, go ahead and click on the second link in the description scroll down and click where it says download fabric loader here that will redirect you to the fabric website where we're going to click download universal jar right here right below this big button and that will begin the download for fabric right away go ahead and drag and drop the installer to the desktop you could probably find the installer here in your recent download history now we're also going to need the fabric api if you have installed fabric in the past you know that you need the fabric api in order for a lot of mods to be compatible with fabric and since we're going to be installing opti fabric we need the fabric api click on the third link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install fabric api of course feel free to read through the guide but if you just want to follow along go ahead and scroll down and click where it says download fabric api here which will redirect you over here where you're going to scroll down and you're going to find the 1.20.4 version for fabric as you can see it's right here right on the top you don't have to look too far for it maybe in the future you might have to scroll down but if for whatever reason you can't find 1.20.4 here you could always click where it says filter by and then put 1.20.4 and i'll put 1.20.4 in here and in order for us to download it we're going to click on this little three dots in here and then click download file that will redirect you over here and within five seconds your download will begin once that file has downloaded i want you to go ahead and drag and drop it to the desktop just like we did with the fabric installer let's go ahead and wait for this to finish there we go and we can put it in our desktop now that we have the fabric installer and the fabric api of course we're going to download optifine click on the fourth link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install optifine of course this is an in-depth article but for this video specifically you don't have to read through it because we're going to install optifine for fabric so all you have to do is just scroll down click where it says download optifine here we're going to download the 1.20.4 version it's right here right below it you might have to click on preview versions because the full 1.20.4 version is not out yet so you might have to click on preview version and then you're going to click mirror right here i redirect over here where you're going to click download and that'll begin the download for optifine 1.20.4 and just like we did with every file before, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this file into our desktop. Let's wait for this to finish downloading. Now we have Optifine in the desktop and we're still missing one more file in order to be ready to set everything up. And that file is OptiFabric. If you click on the fifth link in the description, you'll be here in the OptiFabric website. We don't have an in-depth article yet in our website on how to install OptiFabric. So you're going to have to follow along the video. And I'm sorry for those of you that like reading the guides. Anyways, once you click on that fifth link, You'll be over here where again, we're going to select the 1.20.4 version and we're going to go ahead and click on these little three dots and then click download file. Within five seconds, our download will begin for OptiFabric. And just like we did with every file before this one, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop it to our desktop. Now we should have four jar files, four executable files, and we're going to go ahead and start installing stuff in order. The first thing you want to do is make sure your Minecraft launcher is closed. As you can see, mine is completely closed. And then the first file you're going to install is the fabric installer. The first file we downloaded, go ahead and double click on it and the file will open immediately. As you can see, you get the fabric installer here, select the 1.20.4 version and then click install. And while fabric is installing, let me remind you that you still have time to get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. You could create either a Java or a Bedrock Minecraft server, a server that is up 24 seven, that doesn't expose your IP address and that doesn't use your computer resources to run and your friends could join at any moment. Anyways, let's get back into the tutorial. As we can see, Fabric has now installed. If we click OK in here, we could go ahead and close the installer and we could even delete this Fabric installer file. Now, these three files that we have in here, we're not going to launch, we're not going to double click or anything. We're going to go ahead and add them into the mods folder within the Fabric instance. So go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And when you open your Minecraft launcher, if you install Fabric properly, we should see selected here automatically. Now, mine wasn't selected automatically because I already had installed Fabric in the past. But if it is the first time you're installing Fabric, it will be selected here automatically. You could always make sure that your Fabric is installed if you head over to installations and you click on mod it and you see Fabric in here. That's because you installed it properly. If you don't see Fabric in there, however, you could always click on new installation and where it says version, you could look for Fabric Loader in here. As you can see, it's the third option for me. Name this whatever you want and then click create and that will create a Fabric instance for you guys in here. I'm assuming that most of you, however, did get Fabric Fabric Loader right here, 1.20.4. So let's go ahead and add Optifine to it. Let's go ahead and click where it says installations, find Fabric Loader in here. And then you're going to click on this little folder that appears right next to the Fabric Loader when you hover over it. Click on that folder and that is going to open a folder with a lot of other files. What you're going to do in here is look for another folder called Mods, M-O-D-S. And as you can see, my Mods folder is right here. It's completely empty. 
there's a big chance that you don't have that mods folder yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. And in order to create that folder, all you have to do is click right click, press new and then click folder and then type MODS. So yeah, you could create the mods folder yourself in case you don't have it in here. Go ahead and open that mods folder. And what you're going to do now is drag and drop these three files, the Fabric API, the OptiFabric and the OptiFine file into this mods folder. So go ahead and select them and drag and drop them into here. Go ahead and close out from this folder, head over back to Minecraft and now we could launch our fabric loader, click on play on it, click that you understand the risk and wait for it to open and we should have Optifine running. As you can see, our game has now opened and it says Optifine down here, but it also says fabric because we're using Optifine within fabric. And if we go ahead and click on any of our world, by the way, this also works for multiplayer. This works for online Minecraft because this is a client side mod. And remember, if you need a server, you could use the first link in the description. But anyways, let's go ahead and load into a world. And as you can see, we have shaders in fabric using Optifine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and you were able to install Optifine in fabric Minecraft. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, bye bye.